on June 29th, when I messaged you, I had no idea this is the path we would be on. People say the Lord works in mysterious ways, but with us, he's worked in familiar love, daily mercy, and new graces. Lord, you love me the way God does. You are strength to my weaknesses. You are medicine to my wounds. Glory, you are my Ghanaian queen. My good thing. My favor from the Lord and now my wife. You are beautiful, smart. You cook with intelligence. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Brave and above all things, daughter of the king. We're standing here in this moment in time before God and some of our dearest loved ones committing to the sacred covenant of marriage for the rest of our lifetime. God knows I tried to complicate our story in the beginning and obviously I failed. <laughs> Face flat, Cupid's arrow piercing through the very center of my heart. Can I turn around? Can I turn around? Hey! Hey! You look beautiful, man. Wow. Wow, goodness. Okay. Where's the red carpet when we need it? <laughs> Why oh, you look beautiful? Today, Lord, on this day, April 2nd, 2021, as Jonathan and Gloria stand here today, making this commitment to each other and to you, Lord, we pray that their love relationship as husband and wife will be one of patience and kindness and a love that will persevere through every season of their new life together. And that together they will be a lighthouse of hope to others as you continue to write their unique, beautiful story. For Jonathan and Gloria, for this journey that you have brought them together. From two different continents, two different states, only you could put that together and join them. As we walk this journey with them, Father, just continually loving upon them, because you've given us the precious opportunity to be a part of their life. And we thank you so much for Jonathan and Gloria giving us the opportunity to be here. We give you all the thanks and all of the praise in Jesus' name. We're only a couple months shy of a year since we met each other on a Zoom call during a pandemic. So in this moment, I commit the next chapters of our journey to God. We'll trust Him to keep writing our very unique love story. God promised me three things when He spoke to me about our relationship. One, you will be good for me. Two, that there is something He wants for both of us in our relationship. And three, that he will provide strength and patience to fulfill what he's called us to do. Today in front of friends and family, I vow to faithfully pursue God in my life. I vow to be faithful to you in thought, word, and deed. To fight for the beauty and honor of our oneness. God says that life is a vapor. So I vow that by the spirit of God, the soil of our marriage, will be soaked in his love and filled with grace. Our story is his story. And so today, this is the beginning of us writing it. I love you so much. You, Jonathan, simplify my complicatedness. I'm in love with you, and I'm better for letting love win with you. You're my steady hand of wisdom, the cool waters to my raging fire, and my safe place of rest. Jonathan, you're a man of great character, and with you, I know I struck gold. By God's grace, I commit to a lifetime of love and adventure. I believe that together, we will help each other develop our hearts and minds in cultivating compassion and generosity so we can love God, each other, and our world well. 
God is with us, with love from your Queen. It is my distinct honor to present to you, to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan and Gloria Miles. Woo!